Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, stating as I always do that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Now, I mean that. I don't just say it because it's just something to say. I mean that. Doesn't matter what happened last night, last week, this morning. It is still the day that God has prepared and made for us. I call it a special blessing package, a special customized blessing package. You know why it's customized? Because I can't have yours. You can't have mine. It is specifically put together, orchestrated, and designed for you. Look, if you receive that, I, I, I pray you receive that. That, that, was, that was a word to encourage you in your spirit. On this Sunday morning, you may be leaving your Sunday service. You may be going to your Sunday service. You may be at home. You may be in Africa listen, listening to this program. I want to encourage you to let you know that this is a day that God created created for you. When you opened your eyes this morning, hey, it was all right, okay? Many didn't. Many didn't. But God smiled, breathed the breath of life into you today. So we give him the glory for that. Well, friends, I'm excited about our program as I am every single week for the great things that the Lord is doing with the Christian Business Connection radio show. Not only our radio show, but the CBC TV show as well. Oh, my goodness. You've got to go to my website of the CBC radio Radioshow.com to get all the updates and all the information about the radio show and the TV show. The Lord is doing some fantastic things. My guests on my TV show are amazing as well. On my radio show this morning, though, we have as our first guest the author of the month for the month of June, none other than Mrs. Delitra Hudson. You know, she is the financial educator and also the author of the new children's book, Money Doesn't grow on trees. We've had a wonderful month talking about her book and promoting it and just encouraging you to go to her website to get more information. And her interviews have just been a blessing. So I thank God for Mrs. Delitra Hudson as our CBC author of the month for June. She's going to be here. And also this morning, we're going to be talking with Pastor Keith Scarborough. You know, he's the senior pastor right over there at the Word at Shaw. And I'm telling you, the Word at Shaw is doing some great outreach in the St. Louis community. And in addition to the wonderful, wonderful space, uh, rental space, they have the coffee house at Shaw. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. Wonderful things. Beautiful place. You got to go by and see it. Great things are happening. I'm also going to be having my launching for my new ministry, Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries at the Word of Shaw on Friday, July 15th. It's going to be a great, awesome time in the Lord. I'm inviting you to come out to experience the glory of God. And also we have on the program this morning, Mrs. April Fuller Kelly. You know, we've been talking with her. She is a beauty tainer with Tyra Banks Cosmetics. Ladies, ladies, a new, a new captain, a new general is in town. So you want to definitely listen to this interview about Tyra Banks Cosmetics. And also we have on the program this morning, Mr. Vance Watt, the praise and worship leader of the Word at Shaw Church. He's going to be on the program this morning. It's always great to talk with him. Again, wonderful things are happening at the Word at Shaw. So you don't want to miss one minute of the CBC radio show this morning. And then, of course, got to hear that healthy living tip from none other than Dr. Tebow, your pocket doctor, Dr. Katrina thompson Bowdry. So, friends, I've got a full, full morning with you. So stay with me. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Ladies, you are invited to a special women's retreat hosted by myself, Evangelist Nona Thomas, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 14th through 17th at Sojourn Christian Retreat, located in Dittmer, Missouri. Our theme for this retreat is your refreshing for the next level. One cost includes bus transportation, two-night accommodations, meals, snacks, pampering, giveaways, and so, so much more. This time of refreshing is for your next level that God is preparing you for. Call 314-270-2225 to get more information. Don't miss what God is doing at this retreat. 
Come and experience the glory of God at the ministry launch service for Evangelist Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. The celebration will be held at the Word at Shaw Church located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove, located across the street from the Missouri Botanical Garden. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Service starts at 7. For more info, call 314-270-2225. This is an open-door service. Come and experience the glory of God. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, you know, we're just so excited about our author of the month for the month of June, none other than Miss Delitra Hudson. You know, she's the financial educator, and her new book, her new children's book, is Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. So I want to welcome back to the CBC Radio Show, Mrs. Delitra Hudson. Good morning. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Oh, you're more than welcome. You you know the question. Question I'm going to ask you know you you ought to know know it by now it was coming <laughs> and uh, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? It is, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, 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 we are rejoicing. And I tell you, I know that you are. The Lord is opening so many doors and doing so many great things, and your book is touching so many lives, children and even adults. So for anyone who hasn't heard yet about Money Doesn't Grow on Trees, tell us about it, would you? I sure will. Money Doesn't Grow on Trees is one of my dream projects. Um, It's a book that teaches children, young people, and children of all ages, I say young and old, uh, of good money habits and money management skills that are relatable to your everyday life experiences. This book was inspired by my own children, and they are written characters in the book, and we talk about a, a certain experience that my oldest daughter is looking to have, but she doesn't have money. And she doesn't know where she's going to get the money. So what she do, she just comes to mom and asks mom for the money. But children have to learn how to earn the money, mm-hmm. keep their money, and learn how to grow their money. And that is the path that I'm on with working with the young people, and I'm super excited about it. Yes, and I know that, of course, it started, you know, in your own household, and the Lord has just grown it from there, but you have an extensive uh, background as a financial educator, don't you? I do. I have over 20 years in the financial industry. I have worked for both private and public companies as well as government, and I've encountered a lot of people that uh, really strive to have and to do more, but they don't know how to tap into the resources. And that's what kind of put me into the the path that I'm going right now with my business under Delitra Hudson, LLC. I am a financial coaching consultant, an author, and a speaker. And my goal is to reach people to help professional people and small business owners improve their financial position by increasing their financial knowledge and opening doors so they can start living the lives that they desire. Yes, yes. And, you know, we are in such uh, turbulent times and so much is going on. Yes. That we, we, we have to be uh, great stewards over everything the Lord has given us. Don't you agree? I do. I do agree, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Now, you know, I almost always compliment you on the book and the illustrations. You know, I, I wish that my audience could could see the book to see the illustrations. It is just so, the colors are so vibrant. It's so clear. And, um, you know, that's a blessing in itself because how many times do you pick up a book and, you know, it's, it's, it's a little contrary than what the title might be. It's drab. You know, there's just no life, but everything jumps off the page and money doesn't grow on trees. Well, thank you very much. I have to credit that to the vision of um, my collaboration with my illustrator, and his name is um, Donald Hill, and he is out of Maryland. But we pretty much put this project together via Internet, and we've never met face-to-face, but he is an awesome illustrator. And the purpose was... To, to really put us in a life situation where it was relatable, where we can see the, the progress of the children as they age in different ages in a, in a household setting. So there was a lot of things that he had to capture with the illustrations, and he did a phenomenal job with capturing that. 
and uh, Evangelist Thomas, the, the readers can actually kind of take a look at the, the illustrations if they wanted to um, before purchasing it on Amazon. Right, right, right. Tell them. Now, I know they can also, they can purchase it, you know, take a look at it, purchase it on Amazon, and also go to your website, right? Absolutely. You can um, purchase it directly from my website, um, www.delitrahudson.com, or you can go to Amazon and purchase the book in a uh, paperback or Kindle version. And guess what? I have a special still going for the month of June due to the fact that I am still CBC radio show's author of the month. I decided to extend a special that will allow the listeners to get the Kindle version of Money Doesn't Grow on Trees for $1.99 through June 30th. Stop via it. Amazon. Stop it. Stop it. That is for yes. oh my goodness. You repeat that one more time. I don't want folks to miss that. Between now and June thirtieth, you can get the Kindle version of my book, Money Doesn't Grow on Trees, for one dollar and ninety nine cents on Amazon. Great, 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 great. You know, as I as I said in the beginning of the interview, so many doors and opportunities are being open for you. It's truly your season. You've got something that's pretty special coming up next week, don't you? I do, and I'm super excited about it. I am collaborating with the African American Male Initiative Program through Forest Park Community College um, next week through June 27th and, I'm sorry, between June 27th and July 1st, I believe it is, they are sponsoring a week-long 2016 Summer Leadership Summit, and I will be one of the facilitators at the summit where I will be teaching um, the African-American males who will be participating in the program about understanding their personal finances. So I am super excited for the opportunity. I thank Sam Huddleston and his team at Forest Park Community College for inviting me to be a guest facilitator. And I, I really look forward to the opportunity that, that I am blessed with to pour into hearts and minds of people of all ages, but particularly young people. So I am gung-ho about this opportunity. Oh, yes. It sounds fantastic. And I know you are available also to go into churches, organizations, and to also uh, teach about financial education, aren't you? Absolutely. I am available. Um, I work with uh, youth groups. I work with churches. Um, organizations, uh, municipalities, small businesses, other groups. I mean, if you get a group together, I will definitely work with you. Simply go to my website, uh, com. Go to the contact page and tell me a little bit about what it is that you're looking for and book me. Uh, there's a book me button where you can just uh, schedule some time. Mm -hmm. I offer 30-minute complimentary financial empowerment sessions where you can schedule some time and we can talk and then we go from there if we need to schedule additional appointments but don't feel obligated by booking time with me because I love to connect with people and try to meet people where they need to be met. So I look forward to all of the opportunities that we may have to, to connect with one another. Yes, and you know, along those lines, as I was listening to you, uh, you know, so many uh, schools, charter schools uh, that are here in the St. Louis metropolitan area, um, could your program um, be specialized for those schools and you go in to educate as well? Yes. Definitely, and I look forward to the opportunity to connect with local schools. Um, there is a curriculum that I really think that our, our school systems are missing when it comes to preparing our young people about money management and money habits. Um, so I would love to partner with any school district to offer my perspective on how to teach and be willing to come in and teach courses on how to in introduce good money habits and money management skills to young people. Yes, and I, I really don't think it's too early. I mean, I mean, even our elementary schools, of course, our high school students, but uh, what grade would you start? Because I know we've got educators that are listening to this program. What age would you start uh, or what uh, uh, grade would you start that type of teaching? I would start in preschool. Mm. As soon as they're introduced to the system, I will start because children understand money. 
They understand that they need money to buy things. Mm -hmm. So as soon as that concept starts to connect, that is when you start teaching them how to treat and manage money. And I think they they will get it. Yeah. I have one uh, reader that wrote a review on Amazon that talked about her five-year-old daughter. She couldn't read the book herself, but mom read the book to her, and she got the concept, and that's at five. So I believe as soon as they enter the school system and they start learning about things, they are prepared to start learning about money as well. Yes. I'm glad you mentioned that about the mom reading to her daughter because um, what's so just amazing about the book, yes, it is for, you know, you wrote it as a children's book, but it also touches adults. And I believe there's a lesson (laughs) that can be learned through teaching your child or or uh, reading this book to your child about finances as well, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Just because they can't read it, um, the, that doesn't mean that it, it, they cannot get the message. That's the young people. But when the adult picks up the book and starts to read it to their child, there is a message that they get out of it as well. Because in the storyline, there is a, a conversation between mom and the lead character, Joy, who is uh, is interested in doing some things with her friends, but she comes to mom, and mom has to address, Joy, how you can do the things that you want is by earning what you need to accomplish those goals. So the message is there for the parents or the adults as well. Yes, yes. That's what I love about it. Money doesn't grow on trees. I love it. Listeners, if you're just tuning in to the CBC radio show this morning, we're talking with Mrs. Delitra Hudson, the financial educator and the author of the newest book, Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. Uh, Ms. Hudson is our author of the month for the month of June, and we're just so excited about what God is doing. We've just got a little more time left. Can you give us all of your contact information, how folks can get their copy immediately of this fantastic book? You can immediately get a copy of my book by visiting my website, www.delitrahudson.com, and it is on the Pay It Forward page of my website. Also, you can go to Amazon. You can get the paperback version on Amazon, and between now and June 30th, you can get the Kindle version of the book for $1.99 through Amazon. You can also connect with me on Facebook at Delitra Hudson, on Twitter at Delitra Hudson, at at sign Delitra Hudson, and Instagram, Delitra number one. And that will be my contact information. If there is anyone that needs to connect with me via email, my email is deletra.hudson at gmail.com. That's D-E-L-E-T-R-A dot H-U-D-S-O-N at gmail.com. Fantastic, fantastic. And I also want to let everybody know that at the next Christian Business Connection networking event, which we will have in July and we will be announcing very soon, you're going to be there so folks can actually see you, connect with you, and see maybe, do, will you have some money hanging off you? I don't know. You said don't go on trees. Does it? Can you make it grow, though? Well, I, I, can, I can make it grow spiritually, and I will do that. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, is there anything else you'd like to say in closing? Well, I just look forward to connecting with everyone that attends the networking event. If you get an opportunity, stop by St. Louis Community College at the Forest Park campus and join in on the 2016 Summer Leadership Summit. And don't stop before you go to Amazon and pick up your Kindle version of my book, Money Doesn't Grow on Trees, for $1.99. If you miss it, it's always on Amazon, and it's always on my website. And once again, I'll give you that website, www.deletrahudson.com. It's all one word, and it's spelled D-E-L-E-T-R-A-H-U-D-S-O-N.com. Great, great, great. It has been my joy and honor to be of service to you in this month of June. We have learned so much. I just know the Lord is going to continue to bless you abundantly. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me. This has been a phenomenal experience, 
and I hope that it has been a blessing and I have poured into someone's heart and mind who is listening to us each and every week. Amen. Amen. All righty. Money Doesn't Grow on Trees by Mrs. Delitra Hudson. Thank you for being a part of the CBC Radio Show. Thank you for having me. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. Stay with me. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Come and experience the glory of God at the ministry launch service for Evangelist Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. The celebration will be held at the Word at Shaw Church, located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove, located across the street from the Missouri Botanical Garden. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Service starts at 7. For more info, call 314-270-2225. This is an open-door service. Come and experience the glory of God. Ladies, you are invited to a special women's retreat hosted by myself, Evangelist Nona Thomas, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 14th through 17th at Sojourn Christian Retreat, located in Dittmer, Missouri. Our theme for this retreat is You Are Refreshing for the Next Level. One cost includes bus transportation, two night accommodations, meals, snacks, pampering, giveaways, and so, so much more. This time of refreshing is for your next level that God is preparing you for. Call 314-270-2225 to get more information. Don't miss what God is doing at this retreat. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, I was so excited this morning because we're going to be speaking with Pastor Keith Scarborough, the pastor of The Word at Shaw. I'm so excited about the things that we're going to talk about this morning that I believe are going to be a blessing to you. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Pastor Keith. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, you're welcome. Now, Pastor, I didn't prep you on this question. It's something that I ask everybody who comes on the show. And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Oh, man. God is doing great things uh, in our city. And uh, I'm just so happy that God has allowed me to be a part of it. And so every morning I wake up with just this awe and wonder of, <laughs> you know, God, what, look what you're doing, and, and thanks for letting me have a front row seat to get to watch what's going on. Amen. Amen. That's a good answer, Pastor. I tell you, you know, it's, I often say that it's just so amazing that he uses decorated dust like us. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Well, Pastor, uh, God is doing some amazing things through your ministry at the church. What I love love about the word at Shaw, you have an expression uh, on your printed materials that you say it's a different kind of church. Tell us why, Pastor. Well, uh, we don't do things like most any other place does. And I think more that, that may be more a reflection of, uh, of the people who live in our community mm-hmm. uh, than, than anything else. But we kind of came to be, uh, you know, St. Louis and, and to look like the people who are walking around us. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, you know, Dr. King said that the, the most segregated hour in America was 11 a.m., on Sunday morning, and uh, our Sunday morning is extremely diverse. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you know, mm-hmm. um, our, our staff is uh, both African American and white, and our congregation is about 50-50, mm-hmm. and so that's an unusual uh, place just to begin with. Mm-hmm. But then on top of that, you know, I don't wear robes. I don't. I, I ever, whenever I wear a tie, I get criticized <laughs> openly, and, uh, um, you know, we don't do things that are uh, ritualistic. It's a, it's a fun and casual place, and uh, it's just a place where we can celebrate what God is doing uh, in our lives and through our lives and into our community. Well, I do have to uh, amen that, Pastor, because my first time coming to the church, uh, you really could just feel a just a spirit of peace and love. I mean, it was really greeting you as you walked in the door, and, and only God can do that. Isn't that right? That's right. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Yeah. Tell us about the service times uh, for the different things you have at the church, Pastor. Yeah. Well, we we start our our service in the worship center at 11 a.m., but we open uh, before that. You know, uh, evangelists, when we... um, when we set out to do something in a multicultural way, then we we recognized instantly that 
we needed to create um, environments that would allow people just to sit and talk. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, we do very little talk about race relations. We always just say, um, let's get closer to Jesus. The closer we get mm-hmm. to Jesus, the closer we'll be to each other. Mm-hmm. And uh, part of that uh, breaks down into, you know, environments that allow people to have holy conversations. Mm-hmm. And uh, we invite people to come early. We have a coffee house. Uh, here, uh, we actually, when we planted the church, we're, this is our fifth um, March, mm-hmm. and so uh, when we planted the church, we actually moved into an old United Methodist building, and so one of the first things that we did after we finished the sanctuary was uh, we ripped out three classrooms and created a coffee house. Uh, because we believe that coffee house environments are better than classrooms, at least for the neighborhood that we're trying to to, to connect to. Mm-hmm. And so we ha- we open up our coffee house and people come in, they check their emails, they sit around and drink Hartford Coffee Company coffee and uh, just kind of relax into the morning. And that opens at 1030. So we spend a good 30 minutes before, you know, kind of getting caffeined up before we go in and work. <laughs> Well, Pastor, I'm so glad you mentioned the coffee house at Shaw because that was my introduction to the church, to the ministry. And I'm so excited to be a part of uh, what God is doing with the coffee house and bringing new business and bringing, you know, people to be aware of the coffee house at Shaw. Yeah, it's a great place. It's turned out to be more than a Sunday morning uh, collect a place where people can gather. Um, we do things uh, for the community here all the time. Uh, we have an AA meeting that meets every Wednesday night here, and it's a great group. More than fifty people, usually you know more like a hundred folks, gather there, and uh, and it's open to our community. Uh, but beyond that, we we have community parties like seed exchanges and uh, holiday dances there. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we in in the midst of all of the trials that our city has been going through, we've been hosting uh, uh, what we're just calling the conversation, and it's just people, neighbors mm-hmm. coming in. Mm-hmm. And so most of the people who come to those, and we've had up to 100 of those, I think we've, I think we've done eight of them already, um, most of the people who come there do not attend the church. A good faction do, but most of them don't. Mm-hmm. But we wanted to be open to the community and be doing things for you know for our community, a place where people can gather and uh, and meet each other because we find that is a, you know that's a value of ours. And so uh, last Friday we had uh, we hosted a. Uh, a spoken word night, and uh, I know you were there, but uh, Mm -hmm. that was with our friends with Faith Communities, Mm -hmm. and it was a fundraiser for our uh, for AIDS community. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I know we have a a comedy night coming. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, you're bringing that in, and then uh, and then some other some other jazz nights, and just ways that people can come together and good clean entertainment, yes. spend the time together, and uh, and you know it doesn't. Uh, I don't. Uh, this is not meant to insult. It just doesn't feel like church, you know. <laughs> it's really nice kind of vibey place where yes. people can connect. And, you know, Jesus acted in those places all the time, more yes. than in church setting. Yes. And so that's where we feel like he's still working that way here. Yes, he is. Well, I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Pastor Keith Scarborough, the pastor at the Word at Shaw Church. Now, Pastor, I, I, I know folks are, are listening and they're like, well, how can we get connected? Tell us how right. we can get connected to the Word at Shaw. Right. We are, well, first off, our website's fairly easy. It's the name of our church, the word at Shaw. Mm-hmm. Everything's spelled out, smushed mm-hmm. together. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a .org address. And um, all of our events, all of our calendar, everything that we do there is there. Um, we have service. By the way, we're located right across the street from the Botanical Garden. Most people know where we're at. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're on the corner of Tower Grove and Shaw. That's the reason why, for the name. Uh, but right across from the Missouri Botanical Garden. Uh, we have uh, uh, mission projects all the time. We actually run a, uh, a furniture showroom um, store. Uh, it's for the Shalom House, which is a uh, homeless shelter just about a mile away from our location here uh, for uh, ladies. And so ladies go through their program. By the way, they have a 97% success rate. When they go through Shalom House, uh, they are no longer homeless. Uh, our little church in only our in only four years 
has helped 45 ladies leave the shelter from off the street into the shelter, off the shelter, out of the shelter, into their own furnished apartment. And we're the, we're the folks who do the furnishings. And so we uh, collect furniture, clean furniture, repair furniture, pack furniture, load furniture, and then <laughs> set up apartments uh, for them. And so you can help with that. You can help us with our work with Shalom House. Uh, on Thursdays, we have a program we call SNAP, which is an after-school Shaw neighborhood after-school program uh, for kids uh, under 16, 10 to 16 years old. And uh, that's a, there's plenty of opportunities to serve there. And then, of course, on Sunday morning, just come. And, you know, we, we say some people like to come and jump in and, and become members and, like, you know, start to serve and, and, and do all those things. But we also leave plenty of room just to sit and listen, just mm-hmm. come in and kind of check it out. And, uh, you know, Jesus always said, come and see, come and see, come and see. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we, we leave plenty of room for that. So, you know, if you or friends of yours uh, don't have a church, and uh, and are a little skeptical of church, that's kind of who we want to meet. We want to meet people like that so they can come in, relax, see the environment, and then start to be filled with the Spirit of God. Well, I, I definitely felt like I was at home. I felt like I've already been grafted in, and uh, you're going to look up, Pastor, and see me walking through the door just to come and, and, uh, and, and sup with you uh, every that's now good. and then. Would that be all right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. Wonderful. Well, Pastor, we're just about out of time. And uh, give us the address again uh, sure. for the word at Shaw. Sure. It's 4265 Shaw. And uh, it's on the corner of Tower Grove and Shaw, right across from the Missouri Botanical Garden. And uh, it's, a, it's an older uh, United Methodist Church building, uh, but uh, when you step inside, you'll see what all our volunteers have been doing to refurbish it and make it all brand new. Amen. Is there anything else that you'd like to say in closing, Pastor Keith? Hey, i just love to say God bless you to everybody who is listening. God is doing great things. And God, our God, the God we serve, is one who can take horrible things such as the things we're going through right now, and turn them into good. And uh, I know that's going to happen for our city. And as I've said, I'm so thrilled that God has allowed us to be a part of it and have a front row seat to watch how he's at work in our city. Amen. Me too, Pastor. Bless you. You are a joy, Pastor Keith. Thank you so much for being a part of the CBC radio show today. God bless you. All righty. Friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Good morning and welcome back to Dr. Tebow's Carol Healthy Living Tips. Today's topic will be about fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is the name that is given to chronic widespread muscular pain, which has no obvious causes. This pain is usually aching, stiff, burning, throbbing. You can feel sleep disturbances, headaches, and fatigue. 80 to 90 percent of the population that are diagnosed with this syndrome are females. So what can you do in order to help with what you are experiencing? Listen up because I have some healthy living tips for you. Number one, wholesome diets, fruits, vegetables, minimizing whole grains, and discontinuing unprocessed foods while increasing your lean protein can make a big difference. Number two, exercise. Exercise to your tolerance. Choose a form of exercise that can you can enjoy and gradually increase the intensity. You can definitely start off with warm water exercises to improve your system. Number three, nutritional supplements. After determining what's low in your system, Start incorporating vitamins such as B12, C, E, magnesium, and calcium. These will help increase your cellular energy and relax your nerves and muscles that are having a spasm issue. Number four, chiropractic adjustments. Chiropractic adjustments help improve your structural alignment and your nerve flow to which the areas that are causing your fibromyalgia to flare up. So remember, your health is important and your spine is too. Start now getting adjusted because it can make a big difference inside of you. If you have to reach Dr. Tebow, contact me at the pocket doctor, T-H-E-P-O-C-K-E-T-D-R, or call me at 636-336-8049.
Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, you know, we are just blessed, blessed, blessed to have on our program once again this morning, Mrs. April Fuller Kelly. You know, she is a beauty tainer with Tyra Banks Cosmetics. So I want to welcome back to the CBC Radio Show, Mrs. April Fuller Kelly. Good morning. Good morning. You know, I'm going to ask you the question now. You know the question. Is this the day (laughs) that the Lord has made for you. Yes, ma'am, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. You always get that right. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, you know, I, when I think of as we've gone into this summer, you know, our, our summertime, the official season of summer we are in now, I think about vibrant colors. I think about, you know, just beauty. I don't, I don't know why. It just stands out to me. And well, with that being said, as a beauty tainer with Tyra Banks Cosmetics, you've got everything for women to make that happen, don't you? Yes, ma'am. I sure do. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about Tyra Banks Cosmetics. Well, Tyra Banks Cosmetics is uh, Tyra's cosmetic line, and it's, uh, ladies, I tell you, it's awesome. Um, she, I don't even know where to start on this lady's products. They're just amazing. Um, <laughs> I use a lot of them, <laughs> and I'm always promoting them because they are awesome products. I know my, one of my favorite um, products that I, I um, just gave away <laughs> was uh, her blush. Uh, she has a blush product that comes in a stick. It's called Blush in a Stick. And ladies, um, I love it. I mean, you just apply it to your cheek. Or uh, some people apply it <laughs> as eyeshadow, but it's really for your cheek. It's called Cheek in a Stick, and it's it's just an amazing product. I mean, it's really light on your face. It's easy, easy to put it on. You can even use your fingertips. Like, all of her her makeup is made because there's nobody, you know, like, if you are a uh, big-time makeup person like I am, and you're always applying your makeup every day, um, sometimes you don't have time or you don't feel like grabbing a brush or anything, but she has it easy where you can take your feet, fingertip and just apply it with your fingers so you're not looking for a makeup brush or a makeup pad. <laughs> right. And that's what I love about it. <laughs> and, and, you know, that sounds great because I think, uh, you know, all, most mostly all women, we want easy. You know, we want where we don't have to go through a whole big fuss and, and it, it's an easy application. And you can get that with Tyra Banks Cosmetics, right? Yes, ma'am, we sure can. Now, what about the lipsticks? You know, I'm a lipstick girl, so, you know, do you have a lot of um, uh, colors and, you know, uh, with moisturizer and all that good stuff? Okay, well, one of her lipsticks I like is long-lasting, but you can't, I'm going to be honest, you can't um, apply, uh, like, anything over it because it's a, it's a dry lipstick so that it can last um, for the 24 hours or the 8 hours that it's supposed to last. But if oh you put, God. like, a gloss or something over it, it kind of, like, doesn't last as long. But it's not designed... Um, for you to put that stuff over it. That's why it's a dry lipstick so that it can last for that length of time because I, I love her um, lipstick. And one of the colors that I wear that she has is it's red, and it's 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 an awesome color. I know, like, if you're a lady, usually us ladies, we go for red lipstick. <laughs> for me, I go for red or pink. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, yes. You know, we do like, we tend to like those vibrant colors. And I know yes. by going to your website, uh, we can get an idea of everything that is on the line. A- am I right about that? You sure can. Yeah, give us your website uh, information. It's www.tyra dot com that's t y r a dot c o m uh, slash a fuller eighty seven. Give it to us one more time, would you? Yes, ma'am. It is www dot t y r a dot com c o m forward slash a fuller a f u l l e r eighty seven. Great, great, great. Now, tell me, can um, folks invite you into their home or into group settings uh, for you to give them a sampling of Tyra Bax Cosmetics? Yes, I would actually love it if you guys would invite me to your home so that I can show you the awesome products that um, she has to offer and even go through some things on the website um, and answer any of the questions that you guys may have about her products. And every month, what I love about Tyra is she comes out with a new, um, something new just for us. And it's it's always exciting um, that uh, when you have a CEO that loves the products, that's always trying to improve and trying to create something new 
for you guys. Um, a lot of our products are, like I said, they're just awesome. Like, they're unbelievably awesome. Like, um, I also use, um, she has a couture. Um, at first, I was laughing because I honestly did not know how to use it because <laughs> she didn't really have a, a instructions for them. But now she um, has instructions <laughs> so that you know how to apply the couture. Because when I first got it, I just would play around in it, but I didn't know how to apply it. But now she does have it where you can uh, see where you're supposed to apply the couture makeup. And it and it is flawless makeup. I mean, all of her makeup is flawless. Like, if you have, like, things that you're trying to hide on your face, like me, I have, sometimes I have, like, little brown spots or scars because I scratch. Like, my husband, he just got on me for wearing my rings when I sleep because I scratched up my face a little bit. <laughs> I thank God for her wake up because it helps kind of hide it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, I, I'm excited about Tyra Banks Cosmetics and you, your title. You are a beauty tainer. I love that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a beauty tainer. Well, um, for my listeners, if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Mrs. April Fuller Kelly. She is a beauty tainer, a representative of Tyra Banks Cosmetics. We're just about out of time, but is there anything else that you like to say about this amazing uh, product? Yes, there's always um, deals with Tyra. I know some people don't like to spend a lot of money. Like right now we have specials and um, even with people that refer a friend, um, you will get uh, $10 for every friend that you refer to us. So uh, there is ways that even if you don't want to sell her makeup or do anything like that, you can uh, refer friends and receive um, a benefit. You can receive $10 and it, it, uh, everything helps in this day and age. Wow, that's pretty good. Just for a referral? Yes, ma'am, just for a referral. <laughs> wow. Well, you hear that, St. Louis, you got to call. You got to get in contact. Go to the website for Mrs. April Fuller Kelly, a beauty tainer with Tyra Banks Cosmetics. Thank you so much for being on the program this morning. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. I'll be right back. Ladies, you are invited to a special women's retreat hosted by myself, Evangelist Nona Thomas, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 14th through 17th at Sojourn Christian Retreat, located in Dittmer, Missouri. Our theme for this retreat is your refreshing for the next level. One cost includes bus transportation, two-night accommodations, meals, snacks, pampering, giveaways, and so, so much more. This time of refreshing is for your next level that God is preparing you for. Call 314-270-2225 to get more information. Don't miss what God is doing at this retreat. Come and experience the glory of God at the ministry launch service for Evangelist Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. The celebration will be held at the Word at Shaw Church located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove, located across the street from the Missouri Botanical Garden. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Service starts at 7. For more info, call 314-270-2225. This is an open door service. Come and experience the glory of God. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we're going to be talking with a great man of God this morning. Truly, he is. And I'm so excited about the things that are going on at his church. I'm so excited about what really he is doing in the body of Christ. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Mr. Vance Watt, the worship arts pastor of the Word at Shaw Church. Good morning. Hey, good morning. It's good to be here. It's Well, you know what? It's good to hear your voice, my brother. Let me tell you. <laughs> now, I, I didn't prep you on this question, but this is what I ask everybody who comes on the show. And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Uh, most definitely is, and I am worshiping and being glad in it. All right, all right, yes, yes, you are. Well, you know, there's just a, an electricity that's going on over on the south side with the word at Shaw Church. So, you know, what's happening over there? <laughs> I know a little something about it, but yeah, just a, a new ministry that we planted down in the Shaw neighborhood a little bit over five years ago now. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, we just been there serving the community um, on a daily basis ever since we opened shop. You know, that's a uh, you you really are uh, serving the community. And of course, under the leadership of Pastor Keith Scarborough, I mean, he's really he's fantastic, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He's the man. Yep. He holds it all together for us. 
everything. I know he does. Uh, tell us about some of the ministries that are represented at the Word of Shaw. Uh, different day-to-day or weekly ministries we have going on. One, it's kind of a lot to go through, but I'll I do the best that I can right now in the time that we have. But one, uh, and what actually led me to the church plant, is a, a ministry called Furnish and Hope, uh, to where we work with different transitional houses um, and different programs. And what happens is once the women or the, the men go through a certain amount of training with whatever, with whatever uh, shelter or home they're in, they're able to come to our church and pick out furniture to furnish their new apartment as they're transitioning through the different uh, programs. And so uh, Pastor Keith really made it look like a, it's a Rockman's furniture or something <laughs> in, our, uh, in, in, our, in our, the lower bottom of our facilities at the church. So they get to come in and not just go through a whole bunch of stuff piled on top of one another, but they get to come in and shop. Uh, with dignity. And the best part about it for them all is that it's all free, uh, no charge. Folks donate, donate us furniture um, on a regular basis. We always have uh, overstock of furniture, so we never run out. But it's not junk either. They get to come in and pick some really quality uh, material as they're moving into their new place. You know, I have seen... I, I have seen that, and you're right. It's like it's like a, a a brand name furniture store, and and that's God too. Because you know we have to meet people where they are, not just spiritually to lead them to Christ, but but naturally people. You know we have to be a tangible touch, don't you think? Oh yeah, and even with this uh, particular ministry. Uh they don't necessarily become members of our church or anything, but they get to pass through. We get to share the gospel. We get to pray. We get to uh, share memories with them as well. Um, but it's definitely just a service that we provide for the community for these folks. So yeah, it's not even just to grow our church, but we really are here just serving the community in word and in deed. That's it. It's really about outreach. And I, from the time that I have been affiliated with the church, I have seen great outreach ministries. Tell us about other things that the church is doing. Um, another thing we have going on every Wednesday, uh, we have AA on the Rocks and uh, Nine Al Anon, and that's a, a night where um, if you have different addictions that you were overcome, and you just need a group of a body of folks to be around for encouragement for week to week, uh, we have that every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. in the in our coffee shop at the church. Um, another ministry we have going on through the week is called Snap. It's the Shaw Neighborhood After School Program. So on Thursday nights we have Glorita and Brooke, they lead up our SNAP program, and kids come there every week, and they can do homework, learn crafts, learn music, uh, work on our computers in the computer lab, uh, just different things like that, giving them an opportunity to be off the streets and uh, to be in a fun environment. Uh, so that's another one. You know, I have seen uh, the results. I've seen uh, the children participate in the SNAP program, and, I mean, th- they just seem like they're having so much fun. I mean, it's really a great atmosphere, isn't it? Also, it's a blessing, yep. And then for me, with me being in the art side of it, I get to utilize some of those kids on Sunday mornings from time to time. Uh, they'll come and share a song. Or uh, one time we did a little drum line using little uh, Home Depot buckets. <laughs> so they were keeping rhythm on stage doing our praise and worship service, uh, banging on buckets with drumsticks. And that was a, a good, uh, fun time for us. Yeah, so it's definitely uh, helping the kids and it's helpful for us as well, being able to be, like I said, again, serving the community in that capacity. Yes. You know, one thing I love about the, the, the church ministry there is that you guys are really, you, you're out of the box. I, I don't know if there ever was a box. What do you think? <laughs> well, you, well, you see, you know, it's hard for, to get with us sometimes because of all the work that's going on. So <laughs> it's always, it's never a dull moment at all. But it's it's a lot of work. Uh, like I say, we, a lot of folks want to sign up for full-time ministry. Um, and sometimes for them, that looks like just Sunday morning and a Wednesday night Bible study. But uh, we're really engaged in full-time ministry uh, pretty much seven days a week. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you brought up that point. And I want you kind of to expound on that because, yes, you know, sometimes we, we, we look at that from the outside and, you know, everything seems, you know, you know, just polished and it's running smooth. But there is there's a labor in ministry. There is a sacrifice that you have to make to make sure things are done in excellence and until the glory of God. Am I right? Oh, yeah. And like you say, Pastor Keith, he's been a great leader at that um um, the first thing he did coming into the community, into the neighborhood, he just went and just served. He wasn't just inviting folks to church. He just went into the community, uh, meeting folks and uh, just being there with the people and, and participating in the neighborhood watch meetings and things like that. And that's not a, a, a nine to five gig right there. <laughs> that's um, all day, every day, <laughs> not getting home till nine and 10 o'clock at night. But yeah, so it's, it's definitely a. Um, it's definitely not for everybody, but like I say, full-time ministry is what we do uh, seriously down here in the neighborhood and beyond. 
That's right. That's right. Well, I want to let my listeners know if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Vance Watt, the worship arts pastor at the Word at Shaw Church. Uh, Brother Vance, tell me, In you say there were many things that led you to the church, that you believe the Lord led you to the church to be a part of what's going on. I want to ask you, what continually keeps you at the church? Uh, it's definitely the calling of the Holy Spirit and where God has planted uh, my family. Uh, so that's, that's definitely the first thing. But I say things like, um, I was tired of doing church and just having church in the typical uh, week-to-week thing and whatnot. And it's, it's good and it works. We all need a, a place to be um, for where we are in our lives. But I was actually just looking for more and wanting to be more involved on a regular basis, like I say, real uh, real full-time ministry. And just the different things like the Furnishing Hope and the SNAP program and the different programs that we were able to create down here. Um, that's just really what I was looking for. Um, one thing I didn't mention, we, we do a poetry night, an open mic night uh, every so often. Um, where people can just come in off the streets and share their their gifts and talents or whatnot. It's not necessarily all Christian and um, and just all about Jesus every time, but it's just another opening door for them. But just trying to find those different things where we can meet people where they are on their journey, and then in that journey we can help and encourage them to uh, continue to see Christ and continue to live for Christ uh, along the way. Yeah. yeah. So that's what that's what initially led me down here. Just really tired of. Um, well, not even just necessarily tired of, just knowing that there was something more. That's it. Yes, there, was, there was more that I that I could be doing with my gifts and my talents yes. versus just versus just doing the music on Sunday mornings and on a Wednesday night practice or Bible study. Right, right. And, you know, we could take uh, uh, another hour just to really talk about the gifts and the talents that the Lord has poured into your life. Uh, you know, uh, uh, for those who may not know your, your, your birth name, as they say, uh, they may know the stage name in which you have traveled all across the country as praise. And I know that there are some things that the Lord has done uh, for you, for your family, and in and, and music that it's it's really more to come. We should be looking for something real real soon, shouldn't we? Uh, yes, ma'am. It's always something on, in the works. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Always. Something in the works. Now, um, I know that we are right here. This is Easter month, and uh, the church is doing some fantastic things as we lead up to the Easter uh, morning service. Tell us about that, because I know you want to invite everyone out to come and share that day, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, not even just Easter Sunday, but leading up to Easter Sunday, we're going to celebrate Palm Sunday on the 20th of March, and our service starts at 11 o'clock that day. Um, and on the 25th of March is Good Friday. We're going to have a special presentation at 7 p.m. that evening, and that's going to lead us into our Easter Sunday morning celebration on the 27th, which starts at 11 o'clock as well. Um, I can give the address is 4265 Shaw Boulevard, 63110. That's the word is Shaw, 4265 Shaw Boulevard. Uh, 63110 St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, we're right on the corner of Botanical and Shaw, and we're right on the corner where the Botanical Garden is as well. Right, that's a great landmark. You, if you if you know where the Botanical Garden is, Missouri Botanical Garden, well, you're right there at the word is Shaw. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, you know, Pastor Keith is going to be on the uh, program uh, coming up very soon, uh, but. I, I think that you can even speak uh, on behalf of Pastor Keith on 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 how you want to reach out to the community and to invite people to come to the church. Would you do that? Oh yeah, you are. Everyone is always welcome. Our um, our scene is really laid back. You can wear a suit and tie if you like to. You can come in shorts and flip flops uh, if you like to. Um, uh, one, another thing that drew me to this church too is that we're able to build um, different cultures in our worship, um, in our ethnicity, in our age group. So from the music side of it, we're, we're all over the place, from hymns to contemporary worship to traditional to uh, rap to some everything. You never know what we're going to do on a Sunday morning as far as uh, worship-wise. But um, if you're just looking for a church home, even at all, the Word of Shaw may be the place for you and your family. Uh, if you can come by and just worship with us, and we'd love to have you. Indeed. Give us the times for your Bible study and for the Sunday services. Our Bible studies are Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. in our coffee shop, and then our Sunday uh, services are at 11 o'clock every Sunday morning. Um, actually, today, this is Aaron. We're actually in the streets serving the community. We actually had an earlier worship service um, and then left out to go in different, into different groups into the neighborhood to do different service projects. So 
Um, but the, the, re- the remainder of the year will be in the, the worship facility every Sunday morning at 11. I love it. I love it. What you say, you got you to gotta go out beyond those four walls. You got to go in the streets. <laughs> oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I, I want to touch real quick on the children's ministry. You all have a great children's ministry as well. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Yep. Yeah, we've been blessed. Uh, our babies are growing and growing and growing. <laughs> yeah, the, one of the things I'm working with, with them at this point now, too, is uh, identifying the ones that have the different musical talents. Um, and just really growing and starting to do more free lessons uh, with them with singing and instruments. So that's a that's a blessing to be able to pour into our future. It is. And because, you know, that's where, I mean, your talent, one of your many talents is music. And so what you're doing is pulling that out of the young people, pulling that out of the baby so they can give God the glory. I mean, how fulfilling is that? Oh, well, I'm learning stuff from them every day. <laughs> yeah, so just, yeah, so even my uh, my youngest boy, Jafia, uh, at the church this past Sunday morning to my office, just finishing up some things. He sits down in my Fender Rose uh, piano and just started playing something. <laughs> wow. so, I had to, so I had to stop what I was doing and push record to capture what he was doing at the time yeah 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 and that's a great feeling that is a great feeling as a dad and then also as the the worship arts pastor you know to see that you know that your labor is not in vain i I know i'm right about that oh yes man we're definitely enjoying every moment of it too yes yes well again give us the contact information for the word at shaw i know people are listening right now uh you know they even may be trying to come over to the church this morning i don't know and and then also uh tell us about that easter service again and and the palm sunday and all that leaving up leading up yeah so the word is shaw we're at 4265 shaw boulevard uh, St. Louis, Missouri, 63110. Our worship services are every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. We actually open the doors at 10.30 a.m. and we serve breakfast and coffee and donuts and things like that. And leading up, if you would like to join us for Palm Sunday, Good Friday, or Easter Sunday, we'd love to have you. Um, we have a lot of different special things in store for these particular services and presentations as well. So we would definitely love to have your family and friends to come out and join us. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I love you. You are my friend, I tell you. And I'm excited about what God is doing, not only at, in the church, but in your personal ministry as well. Thank you for being a part of the CBC Radio Show. Hi, right, man. Thanks for having us. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Ladies, you are invited to a special women's retreat hosted by myself, Evangelist Nona Thomas, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, October 14th through 17th at Sojourn Christian Retreat, located in Dittmer, Missouri. Our theme for this retreat is your refreshing for the next level. One cost includes bus transportation, two-night accommodations, meals, snacks, pampering, giveaways, and so, so much more. This time of refreshing is for your next level that God is preparing you for. Call 314-270-2225 to get more information. Don't miss what God is doing at this retreat. Come and experience the glory of God at the ministry launch service for Evangelist Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries. The celebration will be held at the Word at Shaw Church located at 4265 Shaw at Tower Grove, located across the street from the Missouri Botanical Garden. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Service starts at 7. For more info, call 314-270-2225. This is an open door service. Come and experience the glory of God. Hi, this is Evangelist Nona Thomas inviting you to tune in to Hallelujah 1600 at 4 p.m. every Wednesday for the midweek message. Friends, let me tell you, this program will encourage you. It will inspire you. It will be the boost that will be right on time in the Word of God for your Wednesday afternoon. So tune in every Wednesday, 4 p.m. right here on Hallelujah 1600 for the midweek message with Evangelist Nona Thomas. To God be the glory. Friends, haven't we had a great time here on the CBC radio show? I want to thank all of my guests. You are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And I pray that the Lord continues to overflow, to overflow you with blessings in his name. I want you to go to my website so that you can get more information about the up Coming, the upcoming women's retreat. Look, ladies, we're going to have a great time. Want you to be there. And then also, you are definitely invited. This is your personal invitation to come out to the launching of my new ministry, Nona Thomas Worldwide Ministries, on Friday.
Saturday, July 15th at The Word at Shaw. Go to the website, thecbcradioshow.com. As always, in closing, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.